Hey everyone, welcome to Zagreb, the capital city of Croatia. We're trying to figure out the appropriate way to start this video and what better way to kick it off than with a bang. Whenever it happens. Oh, that's it. Woo, let's go. First up on the agenda this morning is taking the Zagreb funicular up to Upper Town here in Zagreb, which is about a 64 second tram ride just up the hill. And that makes it the world's shortest public transportation. Ah! For reference, we could have walked up, but it's super cheap to take the funicular. We haven't taken it yet. It was five kuna each, so 10 kuna for one way, which was $1.50 USD. So this is the quickest way to get from down in the central part of the city of Zagreb up to Upper Town. First up on our list of must-sees here in Zagreb is St. Mark's Church. Now St. Mark's Church is a 13th century Roman Catholic church and obviously we can't get in there. It's because it's flanked by two separate government buildings so and there's a large police presence out here so you know we want to be respectful and keep a distance it's incredibly beautiful it's one of the mainstays here in Zagreb it's one of the oldest architectural buildings here in Zagreb as well there are two crests up on the top on the left is the coat of arms for the city of Zagreb and on the right is the crest for Croatia Now, one thing you're gonna learn about Zagreb when you get here is there's a museum on every corner. There are over 3.6 million different exhibits throughout all of the museums combined. And one of the most popular ones is called the Museum of Broken Relationships, and it's dedicated to failed relationships. The exhibits are donated by people who have been in sour breakups from all around the world. And each exhibit has an item which provides a little bit more detail as to what caused the demise of that particular relationship. It's super highly rated online and we've been recommended from a friend back home. So Emily Mott, shout out to you. We're going in here and we're checking it out. That was like not at all what I, it was kind of what I expected. There were some incredibly sad exhibits in there, some incredibly funny exhibits. They were oh just, they, I mean, all of them were unique and told a story. Every relationship type of situation, whether it's a friend, whether it's a lover, a food, there was one about a food in there. It's a truly unique museum. I, I loved it. I really I don't did know. too. I thought it was awesome. Now we're gonna go over to the old gate that led into the old town here in Zagreb. Back in like the 13th century, it's since taken a different form and it is now like a little a little area of worship. So I don't know how much footage I'll be able to get in there. I wanna remain respectful for the people in there that are praying and lighting candles. I don't know why we chose to film today. There's a high of 45 degrees and it is so cold. It's so windy. <laughs> Just want to stand right here in the sun. There's no wind, the sun. Pretty nice. Full disclosure, about five days ago, we were out here just walking through the area trying to figure out where we were and what was around us. And this is where we first heard the cannon blast. And the cannon blast is like right over there. And both of us about had heart attacks. I was like, oh, they're probably doing construction. Maybe they're blasting. I was like rationalizing all of it in my head. And then a few days ago, one of our friends told us that, no, there's a cannon that goes off. And we were both looked at each other like, that's what we heard. Now we're gonna go try and get some food. We're probably gonna start at, stop at a bakery because hashtag budget. And it smells on nice. That's the biggest part is the smell. It smells unbelievable. So we're probably gonna pop in a bakery. All right, we've gotten some food, and now we're going to Tunnel Greek, which is a tunnel that cuts through Old Town through the bottom of it so that you don't have to go up to the top and then back down through the backside. Tunnel Greek served as a bomb shelter during World War II. It's very long. I mean, we've been walking down it for a few minutes now, and, it's, and we can't see the end in sight. 
I know a tunnel is not the most exciting part of this video, and uh, I'm running out of things to shoot to show you guys. It's just a tunnel, but the history behind it's really neat. Now to fresh air and sunshine. Another really cool spot that we thought we'd show is the Dolok Market. And as you can see, it's very busy. Really awesome place. It's where all the farmers from the small towns around the city, they all flock to the center of Zagreb so that they can sell their produce to the people living here in the city. So we're outside the Zagreb Cathedral, which is basically the center of the religious community here in the country of Croatia. And we're hoping to go in. It looks like it's under construction. The right spire is obviously under construction. It's been that way since I believe the 90s and when an earthquake hit. Unfortunately, we can't go into the cathedral, but we do have one more place that we want to show you. However, we aren't going for three more hours. So we're gonna fast forward real quick, just leaving our apartment to go to that place and take you along. And now for our final stop, we're going to Kalchitsova Street to meet up with some Chelsea fans that we've made friends with since we've been here. We're finishing this off on Kalchitsova Street, which is a super popular street here in Zagreb. It's got a ton of restaurants, a ton of bars, and what better way to finish this video off than by hanging out with friends over a few pints. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Four nil Chelsea. It's a good night. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Oh. I love Zagreb. I love it. We love Zagreb. Yeah, we love Zagreb. And we love Crow Chelsea. You want to get in the frame or? It's stuck on my I gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> Never a dull moment. But we're gonna go check it out. We've got about an hour until... A surprise. A surprise. We need to start over. That was two. That was bad. First up on our stop is, a, is an item. And each exhibit has an item. It's brutal. Just a boy and his pizza. Oops. So we got our quick snack. Creek? Gleek? I should really know these things before I start talking. Tunnel Greek is a tunnel, obviously. For our final stop of Kudm. 